What's going on guys, Thomas Garretts here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the three best niches that you can use to make money just by simply re-uploading other people's YouTube videos. And yes, this method is still working like clockwork today in 2022, but unfortunately, so many people are just doing it wrong and teaching the wrong way. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to download and create the videos the correct way. And I'm also, of course, gonna show you those three niches, but I'm gonna show you example channels in those niches that are actually doing this method and I'll be showing multiple ways to monetize these videos without any issues at all. However, you're gonna to wanna to make sure and watch this entire video because if you skip ahead or leave early, you're gonna miss out on key steps that will show you exactly how to do this method. And then just make sure to smash the like button and let's get into the video. All right, so like I said in this video, I'm gonna show you the three best niches to make money just by simply re-uploading YouTube videos, but I wanna give you a slight caveat here because so many people on YouTube, they're either teaching this the wrong way or doing this the wrong way. And people think when you hear re-uploading that you can just literally take anyone's video, re-upload the entire thing, and then just start making money with no issues at all. And that's just not how it works on YouTube. If you upload a video and it's just completely someone else's, that's gonna get you a copyright strike, just plain and simple. The video has to be transformative. So what that means is you have to either add in some editing, some voiceover, some commentary, put in some different clips, some text on the screen, etc. right? So you have to actually put in the work if you wanna be successful with a YouTube business. Now, it doesn't have to sound so difficult or if you don't know how to do it, you don't have to be like, oh, I can't do it because I don't know how. It's like, of course you don't know how. No one knows how until they start doing it. I didn't know how to do YouTube when I started either, but you got to just figure it out and you watch videos like this where I teach you how to do it the right way. So no, we're not just gonna re-upload other people's videos and take the entire thing, but you can re-upload people's clips from their YouTube videos. You can take clips from different places and then put it together in an editor. You can use a free editor, a paid editor. There's so many ways to do it. And I'll show you a very simple way to do it towards the end of this video. But just understand that you have to do this the right way. There is no shortcuts to success, period. So I hope you understand that. And with that being said, let's get right into niche number one, which is the car niche or automotive niche right so this is a channel right here neo auto and then i have another one pulled up i have two channels for each niche pulled up okay and this is top cars tv so there's a few different ways to go about the automotive channel or industry whatever you want to call it so top cars tv they do more like the list based videos and in my opinion those are better at least for me okay now if you go to neo auto right here he basically picks a new vehicle and he does a complete in-depth review now both of them they're not using their own they're re-uploading clips from different youtube videos different uh ads uh different instagram like anywhere they can find clips they do it and the reason that works is because they're adding not only a voiceover but they're also editing the stuff together right so that's kind of the lane I like to stay in if I'm doing this. Now, let me say one thing. There are a lot of channels where they're like inspirational voiceovers from like famous people, and then they put clips on top of that. I'm just not as much of a fan as that because you can still get hit with reused content because you're not changing the voiceover, right? You're just adding clips. I like when you add a voiceover and you add clips. You can try both ways if you want, but I'm gonna show you the way that I know works for a fact with no issues, okay? So I just wanted to add that in. But yeah, so both of these, the same thing. You're adding a voiceover and you're adding clips, okay? Now, the clips aren't yours, but you're editing them together, all right? So all you do, you literally write a script and you do a voiceover and edit the stuff together. It's really so simple. You don't have to complicate it at all, okay? So those are the, that's the first two channels for the first niche, the car niche, the automotive niche. Now, niche number two is the news niche. The news industry is absolutely huge, right? And it's 
gone so much digital these days. So channels like Hip Hop Daily are absolutely crazy, but it doesn't have to just be hip hop news. You can have, this isn't my favorite channel, but it can be celebrity news, influencer news, etc. The reason I say Rumored isn't my favorite channel is because if you look at the content they make, a lot of time channels like this, they just use crazy clickbait with the craziest titles that really aren't even true or they're just like hurtful, you know? It's one thing if you're like reporting on the news. That's fine with me. People can hate news anchors or whatever all they want, but you're just reporting on what actually happened. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You're adding commentary. And again, you put clips in the background. Let me actually show you like for Hip Hop Daily. I'll get back to rumored why I don't like it in a second. But for example, if I just click on this, I don't have uh, my volume on right now. But basically, this is like a music video in the background. So what he's doing right now is just basically commentating on news that happened to little TJ, who is that guy right there. Okay. So he's talking about that and I guess the beef between him and a boogie. So there's nothing wrong with that. But when you go over to like rumored, right? It's like this title, why Cardi B's parenting is more questionable than you think. How Cardi B is slowly killing her own career. It's just like those titles, I don't like them. I get it's YouTube and stuff, but a lot of time, a lot of the stuff Maybe not this channel. I guess I've never really watched this channel. I'm just judging off the title. But a lot of channels that are in this industry, they use heavy clickbait. Like they literally say like stuff that just isn't true. And it's just not something I'm interested in. However, you can do whatever you want. And I want to show you a niche that works great in 2022. And these are, I mean, people love this stuff, you know. So that, the news niche is crazy. All right. And before we move on to niche number three, I just want to say um, I'm going to be showing you how to like download the videos and the different ways to do that and how to create the video after I show you the third niche. I just want to show you those first so you can kind of get some ideas and uh, just kind of understand how this all works. OK. And just so you know, like this channel right here, Hip Hop Daily, if we go back, go to like their social blade right here they're making crazy money and this can e either be a little higher or maybe somewhere in the middle it just depends on their cpm i don't have a news channel so i don't know their exact cpm which is just how much you get paid per thousand views but if they're making even half that 10k a month just from like reporting on news like that's very very easy and these videos are going to be much quicker and um, just more simple to make than like some of the other ones. But it really depends on you and what you're interested in. You know what I mean? But yeah, so number three is definitely one of my favorite one because I'm an animal lover and that's the animal niche, okay? Tons of channels in this niche. You got Animal Insider, you got Dog World, and I'm a super fan of these. So I'm gonna use this as the example of when I'm creating one just because I don't know. I just like it, but you can use any of these. And at the end of this video, I'm going to link to a full in-depth tutorial that's going to show you how to do even more than I'm going to show you here. And it's going to be with a completely different niche, just in case you don't like any of these three. Okay. So yeah, I mean, same thing here, right? Like 15 poodle mixed breeds that will melt your heart. All right. It's the same exact thing. They're, they're basically just creating educational content. And again, you're writing a script out and you don't have to know any of this knowledge yourself. You can literally go to Google and search 10 facts about uh, Cocker Spaniels, right? And then you can just write it out in your own words after you see certain things about them, right? It's very, very simple to do this. You just have to have like a, a process to do it. And I show all of that inside of my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com. And that's where I go super, super in depth and show everything. But now when it comes to actually creating these videos, the way I like to do it, I have a super specific process, right? Like I don't like downloading the clips first. What I do is I plan the video out, I write the script, and then I get the clips. Then you do the rest. But that's kind of the way I like going out about it. But really quick, I just want to show you kind of like tools you can use to download the videos just so you can see that first. And then I'll get into the rest of it. Okay. So say you want to get some clips about a St. Bernard. So what you can do is you can just type in St. Bernard 
And then what you can do is you'll see all these videos with like St. Bernard's. And there's also places like Pexels and Pixabay. And you can just type in any type of dog there. But to download videos from YouTube, if that's what you're going to do, there's a tool called YouTube5s.com. And then you just take the YouTube video link, put it there. Or what you can do is every single operating system, Windows, uh, Mac, everything, they all have a way to record your screen. That's also another way. If you don't want to download the full video, you could just record your screen for a clip and then take it that way. Okay, so I just wanted to give that quick tip on how to do that. But now to actually create the video in this example, we're going to be using the dog niche because like I said, I like it. Okay, and we're going to first start off by going to most popular because I think that's the best way to find a video that will work the best when you're creating them. Like you always want to basically model after success. Like you want to find proven results and do the same thing in your own way. Okay, so basically this title right here, 15 poodle mixed breeds that will melt your heart. I would do five poodle mixed breeds that will melt your heart, right? That's how I would start it out, okay? Now we have the topic. But now before we actually create the video, you wanna do really two things, okay? So we got our topic picked. Now you wanna watch this video. I just watched it just to kind of see how they went about it because I've never made a dog channel before. But what you want to do now after you have some information is you want to write the script. And like I said, you can literally Google this stuff, which is what we're going to do. But if you want to just go off the video and write kind of in your own words from that, you can do that too. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this title right here. So I'm just going to take this title, copy it, and then we're going to open up a document. Okay, you can use notes or whatever you want to use. Okay, so I'm just going to paste that in there and we're doing the five. Now, I'm just doing this for example, so I'm not going to write the entire script right now, but I just want you to kind of see the template and the process I would use, okay? So you got the, the title right there. Now, if you know no poodle mixed breeds, you're going to want to go to Google. And then you just type in poodle mixed breeds, and you can see all of these popped up right here. So golden doodle. You can literally click on it, and then it will tell you all these different things about it. So right here, we're going to take golden doodle, right? So then you would go... Um, Breed number one, golden doodle, right? And then you could say like a uh, cool fact about, and then you could say, um, are they big or small? You know, just put some stuff, interesting facts about them, okay? And then you would literally do that. So you would just do the same thing for each one. So then you got labradoodle and you would do the same thing. It's very, very simple. And once you have like a, a process or like a template, it's just easier to just kind of repeat that. Does that make sense? So that's how you would do it. And then the most important part is at the end of each script or the end of each video, you wanna have a call to action. You can do this in multiple different ways. You can have a call to action to have them subscribe and hit the like button, right? You're calling for them to take an action, right? Like and subscribe. Or you can have a way to make money, which is another monetization method. The way I like, the, the truly the monetization method that changed my life is affiliate marketing. This is where you can promote other people's products and earn a commission. And all you have to do is put a link in your description and you don't have to fulfill the product or do anything. You just make money. Obviously, you need people to watch the video and click the link, but that's what I suggest doing. And every single one of the channels I showed you they just focus on YouTube monetization, like YouTube ad revenue. That's obviously one of the best ways to make money as a YouTuber, but it's always better to have more than one income stream, okay? So at the end of your script, you could say something like, hey, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description to X. So before you know what to say there, you gotta have a product, right? And one of the, the easiest ways to get affiliate products is to go to a place like ClickBank, and ClickBank is a marketplace where there's hundreds and thousands of people who upload their products on there. And then you can just create a free account and promote it. Okay. So for example, once you create your account, you can just go to the marketplace right up here and then you can just search dog. Right. And then you want to go to keyword relevance right here. Okay. Let me hide this. And then you want to go to gravity. Okay. So you see right here, brain training for dogs. That's perfect because if you're making a bunch of videos about dogs, people who have dogs are gonna be watching and they're gonna be interested in this product. And you can make 
on average $31 every time someone purchases. So that's how you would do it. And a good way to know what to put in your script is just to click on the product right here and kind of see what it does. So it develops your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create the obedient, well-behaved pet of your dreams, okay? So you could word this however you want, but you could say, hey, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description to get the brain training for dogs to help teach your dog to be more well-behaved or whatever, okay? So that's just an, uh, an example, right? And you could use any product in any niche. There's tons of ways to get products, but that's just a quick example and just a bonus way to make more money, okay? But none of this matters if you don't actually create the video the right way. So how are we gonna create the video? Like I said, there's, there's free editors, there's paid editors, there's all these different ways. But in this video, we're gonna use a tool called NVIDIA, but you have to have an account. Now, there is a free account, but the only thing I wanna say about the free account here is it does come with a watermark, okay? If you're just completely broke and you cannot afford anything, all right, you could use it. But like, I do not suggest doing that, especially when you're starting a business, you have to take it serious. That watermark will end up costing you much more money than the $15 a month, okay? But do know that's the yearly cost, okay? So if you're gonna pay monthly, it's double. Now, if you use code Garrett's 25 when you sign up, you can get 25% off your entire order, okay? So I'd suggest at least going with the business, that works fine, okay? But regardless of what count you decide to get, this is what NVIDIA looks like once you've created your account. And it really makes creating videos like this so much more simple, and you'll see why. And usually I use the text to video option, which is what the tutorial at the end will show you that I'm gonna link to at the end, and that way is definitely the easier way, but I wanna show something I've never shown before that I think could be helpful with these niches, so you definitely don't wanna miss this, okay? So we're gonna go with the pre-made templates, and we're just gonna do this in a different way, okay? So once you're on pre-made templates, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're gonna to have to like let it keep loading as you're scrolling, unless your computer's like crazy fast or something, but just keep going until you can't go anymore. And as you can see, these are listicles, okay? So that's perfect because we're doing a list-based video about poodle dog breeds, right? So just pick whichever one you want. There's tons of different ones. If I make this a little smaller, you can see there's tons of different ones here, okay? And uh, yeah, so just pick whichever one you want. It really doesn't matter. Just pick which one you like, okay? So we'll just go with uh, this one. So you just wanna go to wide right here and then use this template. Now. This is like the advanced editor in NVIDIA. But the cool thing is it's all like templated. You see it's got text, it's got the numbers, it's got all this. And then down here is a music file. So we're just gonna go to mute. That way it doesn't annoy you. And now basically all you're gonna wanna do here is change the text and then change the background. It's literally that simple. So we got our little script right here. We're gonna take the five poodle mixed breed script. We're gonna copy that, go back here, double click right there and you see this text pops up. So then just paste it right in there, okay? So now you see it kinda is too big. So now you either wanna just stretch it like that or you can change the font size right up here. And then you're gonna wanna change this to five obviously and then you wanna delete the, the five right there. Okay, so you got the five poodle mixed breeds that will melt your heart. And then you can move this up, and there you go. Now, you want the background, okay? So you can do this a couple different ways. The reason I love NVIDIA is because you can literally go to video right here and just type in poodle. You don't have to download any videos, do anything. It's just all built in. This is what makes it so amazing. So you got different little poodles right here. So we're just gonna go take this one and what you do now is you wanna click on it and hold it and then drag it over this one and you wanna replace it. So now you can hit trim video to fit scene. You can make it as long or as short as you need it to be. I'll just hit trim video and then you just hit add, okay? So now that's the background and then if you go to the next scene just by clicking here, so for one, you'd go back to your script and you would type in right here, golden doodle. So go back here and then you could say breed number one or just put the breed there and then you could move it up and make it bigger if you wanted to, right? 
So it just makes it really easy to use this template. And then again, you could go to video and then just type in golden doodle. And then you could just take this. That doesn't even look like a golden doodle. Maybe it is. I don't know. But then you would just take it, drag it, replace, and then trim video to fit scene and add. Okay. Now this is where you can do a couple different things. All right. If you wanted to, you could make that scene longer. And then rather than adding more text on the screen, you could just add the voiceover. Okay. Because you have more stuff. You got a cool fact about golden doodles and you're going to say if they're big or small, right? So I should probably put this back on, but you're going to say that about the um, golden doodle. So you could literally just say it in this scene where it just says this on the screen, or you can add more text on the screen. Okay. So obviously the way adding less text is easier. And the other channel that whatever this channel is dog world, they don't have all the text on the screen. So you're welcome to do it however you want. Okay. But just for example, if you wanted to add an extra scene, right? All you would have to do, let me make this a little smaller. You would just right click it and you could literally duplicate it, right? And then if you wanted to just delete that, you delete it and you can put whatever text on the screen you want. You could say golden doodles are known to be able to find nut allergies in people. I think that's what <laughs> Wikipedia said. And then you could just have it like that. Okay. So that's basically the gist of how the, the most important parts of NVIDIA work. You add the text, you add the video and you do it that way. However, if you wanted to like upload a video from YouTube, right? So if you want to go back to this video right here and you want to download some pieces of this video to put it in a video, what you do is you take the, the URL right here. You're going to copy this. You're going to want to go to that YT5S website right here. And then you're going to paste in the URL right there and hit start. And 720 is the highest, which is fine. You hit get link right here and then you hit download. Okay. And you see it just got downloaded right there and back on NVIDIA. If you go to uploads right here, so uploads, you just drag it in there. Or what you can do is you can go, if you want to have like separate folders, if you have different types of content or whatever, you can go to folders right here. And then like I created this YouTube dog example folder. So then you just click on that and now you can drag it in there. And now it's in that specific folder if you're more organized, right? So that's how you would do Among it. The and then if you wanted to add this Among to that, the huge list right, of dog you would breeds. do the same thing. You would drag it on there and you could replace it. And then obviously you don't want the full eight minutes. You just kind of drag this to the spots you want. And then there's a dragger on the other side where you drag it like that and you pick the spot you want. And then you hit add, right? So it's all very, very simple to do. Um, a couple things that might come up. You see this one, if you click on the one, and you go up here to text effects. It's this little brush thing. You can click that and that's where you would change the background color. That's something you might want to do, right? If you want to change it to like red or whatever color, it doesn't matter. You can actually hit replace all and that will change it to all of the ones. So you see that's not green anymore. It's red. Okay. So that's just something that might come up, but literally that's how you do the scenes. Okay. But the most important part, like I said, you got to add a voiceover and the scenes, right? So the voiceover, you click this little microphone. So I always suggest doing it yourself at the start. You can use literally like your computer microphone if it's on your laptop. If you have a little cheap plug-in microphone, you can use that. You can also outsource it. So you can go to places like Fiverr and pay to have people do the voiceover yourself. So you would just send them your script and they would do the voiceover and then you would upload it just by going to upload right here. Or if you want to do it yourself, you just hit record voiceover and then you hit this record button. For some reason, my mic's not working. So I'm just going to do this for example. Okay. So basically you would just say whatever you want to say and then you would hit stop and then you would hit add. Okay. And then that's your voiceover right there. And that's how you would do it. But yeah, that's basically how to use NVIDIA to create videos, re-uploading other people's videos. And that's, in my opinion, the most simple way to do it. But there's tons of ways to do it, right? And I show 
much more advanced strategies in my No Face YouTube course at nofaceyt.com. I just know this video is already getting pretty long. I didn't want to make it super, super long, but don't feel the need to go purchase my No Face YouTube course if you can't afford it because you can click the video on the screen right now and it's a completely free in-depth video that shows you kind of more in depth into using in video with a little different strategy in a different niche that tons of people love. So definitely check that video out here. That's all I got. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.